Did you do? Doing fine. Feeling fine? That's good. Wow, 3rd of October. That's a good date. <laughs> we are expecting the baby to be very near that date, by the way. Because it's your first. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's my first. I mean, this, this is just uh, speaking from experience, statistically. Yeah? Oh, really? <laughs> Will be earlier. Near that time, right? Near? And the chance of overdue is not high. Also, I don't want you to be overdue because of your age. Mm. Being overdue carries some additional risk to the baby. So, we don't want any risk because you know, it's a difficult pregnancy to come by. We may not have any more children, so we don't want any additional risk. So, close to the time or on the due date, there is no of labour, then you need to think about planning and such. My advice for you is not to go overdue. In fact, in high-risk pregnancy, not, not, not for medical reasons, because of age, we like the babies to be born 39 weeks. Huh? 39 okay. Yes. Good, good medical practice says 39 weeks. Huh? There is a head very low, you see. More than half of the head is already in the birth canal. This is the birth canal. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be early. Where is husband, by the way? Is he in KL or is he...? U.S. U.S.? Mm -hmm. So what's happening? You're going to go there? No. Uh, we're planning to deliver him. Then go? Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Fine. Then I, I, I think that's not a problem. Uh, the problem is you want to go there. You have to go there now. Early, 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 you see? Before the baby really makes an appearance. Uh, it's too late. Uh, it's already eight months, you know? It's a big baby, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because the original date was when? 20... Sorry. Third of October. Oh, Why wow, say? This is a big baby. Huh? Why is it a big baby? Are you diabetic? Oh, I don't know. Uh -huh. We've checked for diabetes. Today, your urine test? Any issues with the mm -hmm. urine test? No green? Mm -hmm. Both are yellow? Mm -hmm. It's a big baby. Your husband is uh, Caucasian? Yes. Yes. You follow his, uh, his, uh, his uh, physique. Eh? Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that when the head can enter, it's not so big that it doesn't go into the birth canal. Eh? Mm -hmm. This is the face. This is the lips here. Wow! A little bit of the chin here, a bit of the nose here, a bit of the eye there. It's got a hand next to it. So not able to do a fantastic what we call 3D because there's so many things in front, especially the hands. Huh? You see, you can just see a little bit. You see the nose. <coughs> the hand is across and we've got a hand there. That's why. See? This is, you can just see the nose because the <laughs> arm is here. Mm -hmm. So his head is already in here. Down. Very low down, in fact. Huh? Once you go out. <coughs> <coughs> Once you go out early. Yeah. This is the neck, the shoulder. Plenty of fluid. Nice placenta, not low, stops before the baby's head. Mm -hmm. So the face is facing inwards like this, as we said. Huh? Difficult to see the face in 3D, but in 2D, fine. The nose, a bit of the lips here, a bit of the eye there. Mm -hmm. This is the leg, <coughs> the foot. The heel of the foot here, the foot there. It's the baby's backside, it's a boy. This is a cord. The question is hmm. is it possible for a normal baby? Yes. yes. At the moment, yes. Mm -hmm. Everything points to a normal delivery. Of course, it depends a bit on how much more weight the baby puts on. Let's just see. 
So based on length, it's okay. Corresponds to your date. You are 32 week. By height, it's 32 weeks. Just the head that's a bit bigger. No brain, huh? Mm -hmm. They say. This is body. Also a bit bigger, huh? the trunk. Thirty-two. Circumference, the box is here, that's the midline, that's the level we like to do. The head circumference. So, with that, we shall do the average baby at 32 weeks is about 1.8. Mm -hmm. This is closer to 2 kilo, bigger. 1.96, about 2 kilo. Mm -hmm. Bigger. Ahead of schedule, a bit. Mm -hmm. About 200 grams ahead of schedule. Water, a good amount, kidney. Kidney, nice one. Spine, the tailbone. The tailbone looking good. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might get a bit of picture here. What happened? <laughs> Still square me. Ah. Uh -huh. It's too square me. Moving. Almost mad. Mm, caught in front. Hand in front. No. Well, that might move away. You never know. Uh, so, so far, so good. Uh, the arm. This is the shoulder here. Uh, the elbow. The hand. Uh, the other hand is right up at the top. Top of the head. Uh, not to see. This one is here, across the face, and there's the face there. So we like to look at the heart, we know the weight, we know the position. So far on track. Stomach. Core. Are you a good friend of Sonia? No. Yeah, Sonia is from home. Home country. She's the first baby at 40, yeah? Huh? 3.6 kilo, vaginal birth. So it is possible. She's a little bit taller than you, but not much. Husband is British. So there you are. It's possible, even with a bigger baby, but it's obviously a bit tougher. Right? She can, she can uh, handle well, you see. Mindset also very important. Right? Your mindset is that you're able to, and so be it. Huh? Half the battle is in the mindset. Huh? Be positive. Huh? Be positive. <laughs> Yeah, confidence, huh? confidence. Also fitness, huh? generally a bit fitter. A walk, huh? a good level of fitness. Cardiovascular fitness is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine your mother, his mother, you know, they all gave birth normally. Yeah, my mom I mean, it's, not a, it's not an impossible task. Mm -hmm. right? In the old days, most people yeah. <laughs> My mom gave birth to four. <laughs> That's right. Well, you, I don't think big. I think your mom is probably small size. Yeah, so you're quite small. Yeah, so oh, yeah. maybe not so tough. But in the modern age, you know, people eat better. Nutrition is better. So they, 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 they. How shall I say? So cute, huh? The mouth there, the other nose there. Broad cheeks. Is it <laughs> nice cheeks there? Just a hand, eh? Trying hard to see. Oh, come on! You see, both the hands right in front. And a bit of cord in front. So, hello! <laughs> Put your hand away. Huh? We are here to see you after a month, you know? Hi! You see, it does respond a bit. Hi! <laughs> hand away! They may not understand, but they respond to the sound. Eh? The sound of mother's voice, father's voice. If you talk to the baby often, eh? yeah. 
Dukkha is a very calming thing for the being. But also your heartbeat, eh? it's a very calming, you know? Record your heartbeat and play it back to the baby when the baby is very fretful. Like, oh, mm-hmm. they will settle. It's quite an amazing thing eh? mm-hmm. to see yeah? because they're always used to your heart rate, the heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Plenty of water around the baby. Hair. Oh, yeah. Got hair. hair, yeah. yeah. It's got hair. Are you happy with the baby's uh, movements? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Active? Yes, yeah, very active. This is called uh, near the face, uh, not round the neck, but near mm-hmm. the face. Uh. Three vessels, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Three vessels, that's what we expect. Three vessels in the core. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all good. What did I say? One point. Nine, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, one point nine. Almost. Almost two.